Hey, hi there YouTube. Right. Right, 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 right. Well, I through my subscriptions, so I've got a quite a few in there that build like little amplifiers and bits and pieces. I'm not gonna say the names because none of them worked. And I ended up going back to the internet and finding this little circuit. Now I found this on about four different websites, but three of them all belong to the same person. And the one website that it came from, I do believe originally, which is um, talkingelectronics.com. But there's another character out there that's got quite a few electronic circuit websites and he, he sort of claims they're all his. Um, but I don't think they actually came from there. So I'm gonna go with electronic circuits. Uh, sorry, talkingelectronics.com. And this is a little amplifier and it works, it's great. I mean, okay, it's not great, it's not the sort of thing you want to be powering your house with, but it's a working amplifier. And unfortunately, there's been so many that I have tried off uh, the YouTube um, guys, and a lot of them don't actually work. And then it's surprising, because I, I start thinking, well, maybe it's me. I just can't, you know, put these little things together. But then when I go to these other websites and go into books, and they always seem to work, so... Uh, there we go. I'm going to actually connect some uh, music and uh, a sound source to it. If I can just sit you over there. Uh, this is the uh, the circuit. It's a pretty basic look. Um, it's a direct coupled, as you can see, those transistors. The, uh, the collector from the transistor going straight into the base of the other one. Um, and the load there is the atom speaker. Mm, the standard uh, emitter. Um, blah, 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 blah. What they call it, a meter, la, 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 la. This malarkey coming down here. And your capacitor, I've got a slightly big capac bigger capacitor to just give a little bit more sort of like bassy type effect. Instead of having a 100 mic, I've got a, um, a 470 mic. And I've used this 100 K pot because it's the only one that I've got available. I actually, I think I've got one here, but I need that um, for some else. I want to rebuild the tube amp. I've actually rebuilt it and got it to couple itself, basically, and that, that worked out quite well. Got a twenty-two point five gain off that at twelve volts. Um, but for this, this is a, this is the working amp, and all the parts are dead easy, you know, it's, um, and it works. So let me just pop you on there for a second, and let's. Uh, Put the old trusty power supply on. Then we can. In actual fact, then we can hear it. There's a radio thing going on there. Yeah, but anyway, so that's not that's not the. Um, that's not the audio chip. Let me just get my phone. I've only got one channel on my phone, which is ideal because this is just the one channel thing going on here. Oh, it's trying to phone out. That's probably not a good idea. That's probably so. Hmm. I always wonder if I'm going to break this phone. But here's a little bit of. That's this, this little lamp. And you can adjust the gain on the 100k pot, of course. It does try to be, be a radio while I'm touching it, but you can turn it down. Can you hear that? Thinks it's a radio, or it tries to. Not the most powerful list. Turn up a little bit. You're going with a bit of saturation now. There you go. Very simple. Very easy. 
If I give it more voltage, actually, because we've got 9 volts going into this. I'll have to put that light on, because it's... I don't know what's wrong with this camera. So, what have we got? 20, 26 milliamps, 9.09 .09 volts. Let's just call it 9 volts. But if that was going to be like a, um, a 9 volt battery, Cheers for watching.